Roll up, roll up, the circus is in town. Welcome back to Book Break. Today I am talking about books set in the circus. Such a magical setting that really lets your imagination run wild. So I have got 13 books to recommend you today that will just make you want to run away and join the circus. Or possibly not, some of the books on this list are quite creepy. But on with the show! So starting with this book I'm holding right here, Circus of Wonders by Elizabeth McNeil. Elizabeth McNeil is the author of The Doll Factory and she is just such a wonderful writer and she is so good at bringing historical settings to life. At the Circus of Wonders, Nellie Moon is the star of the show. She's nicknamed the Leopard Girl because of the very distinctive birthmarks on her skin and she is trained to become the aerialist, the star attraction flying through the air, she's completely adored by the press. But she and the other circus performers in this book are being controlled and manipulated by the circus owner Jasper, who sees himself as a sort of Frankenstein figure with his collection of monsters that will bring him fame and fortune. The fact that these performers are also real people is kind of just an inconvenience to him, an obstacle in the way of him achieving his dream. Dreams. And Elizabeth McNeil is just wonderful at writing these amazing glittering scenes with really sinister undertones, so she was really born to write about the circus. Nights at the Circus by Angela Carter is about another aerialist, Sophie Feathers. She's also the star of the show, but her attraction is that she claims to be part human and part swan. According to her, she was hatched from an egg, or at least that's what she tells journalist Jack Walser, who becomes completely obsessed with her and follows the circus on its grand tour through London, St. Petersburg and Siberia. Again, Angela Carter is a wonderfully magical and sinister writer. Writer. So you're sensing a theme here with these circus books. The Night Circus by Erin Morgenstern is a really beloved book on booktube. This is about a mysterious circus that appears with no warning, no announcements, it's just suddenly there when yesterday it was not. And the book is very descriptive, really brings this magical circus to life, but behind the scenes we are also following an intense rivalry between two young magicians, Celia and Marco, who have been groomed by their mentors to be in a fierce competition competition with each other that they know almost nothing about. The Weight of Feathers by Anna Marie McLemore is about two rival families of travelling performers. The Palomas, whose skin grows in scales, swim in mermaid exhibitions, and the Cabros, who sprout feathers from their skin, are tightrope walkers and they climb the tallest trees. And this story is a kind of Romeo and Juliet story about what happens when a Paloma falls in love with a Cabro. Caravelle by Stephanie Garber is a fantasy trilogy about sisters Scarlet and Teller. So in the first book, Caravelle, Teller is kidnapped by the mastermind organiser of Caravelle, this legendary five night long production where the audience participates in the show. This season, Teller has become part of the show, whoever finds her first is the winner, and Scarlet has been reassured that everything that happens in Caravelle is just a performance. But is it really? Then there's Death of a Circus by Chadra Prasad, which is a really interesting book about a travelling circus in the early 20th century, when circuses were falling out of favour. And the book has this huge ensemble cast of misfits, each with their own stories to tell about the circus, and the book even brings a slightly supernatural element in as well. The Book of Speculation by Erica Swyler is about a young journalist called Simon who starts researching his family history, and it turns out he comes from a long line of circus mermaids, so the women in his family could hold their breath for an unusually long amount of time, which helped them perform in these mermaid exhibitions. But all of the women of his family have died very young, all of them from drowning, and all on the 24th of July. And Simon's younger sister herself ran off to join the circus, and the 24th of July is fast approaching. For another series, you could read the Micah Gray trilogy by Laura Lamb, starting with the first book, Pantomime. So this trilogy is about Jean, an intersex, gender-fluid, bisexual protagonist who joins the circus as an aerialist. We've had a lot of aerialists on this list, it's possibly the most magical seeming of all the roles. And Micah slash Jean does have unusual magical powers, as well as dark visions that foretell dangers to come. 
Harley in the Sky by Akemi Dawn Bowman is about another aerialist. Harley's parents own a circus in Las Vegas and Harley has dreamt of becoming a trapeze artist for as long as she can remember. But after a huge fight with her parents, Harley runs away and joins a rival circus. And there are so many amazing characters in this book, all of the other performers at the circus, but the book also really digs into mental health. So Harley is living with undiagnosed depression, and the experience of living with an undiagnosed mental illness was something that the author said was really important for her to represent. Going back to some historical fiction, you could read The Hourglass Factory by Lucy Ribchester. This one is set in 1912 London, and it's about the circus, but it's also got suffragettes, corset fetishists, the sinking of the Titanic comes into the story. There is so much going on in this book and it's so much fun. So Frankie is a journalist struggling in a very male-dominated profession who is sent to interview the aerialist Ebony Diamond, who then mysteriously vanishes in the middle of a performance. So that sends Frankie off onto this amazing investigation where she uncovers a much deadlier plot than she ever imagined. Or we could jump to 1932 for Water for Elephants by Sarah Gruen, which is a famous star-crossed lovers story. You may have seen the movie adaptation with Robert Pattinson and Reese Witherspoon. Jacob is a vet put in charge of looking after the circus animals, including Rosie, an elephant who seems completely untrainable until Jacob finds a way to reach her. But he also at the circus meets Marlena, the beautiful equestrian performer who is already married to all August, the cruel animal trainer. So if you don't like reading about books that feature cruelty towards animals, warning this may not be the one for you. And the book is told in two timelines, so we flash between the story of Jacob's time at the circus and then in present day Jacob in his 90s looking back on his past. And then getting really scary, Something Wicked This Way Comes by Ray Bradbury is a dark fantasy horror story from the 60s. It's about two 13-year-olds and their nightmarish experience when a travelling carnival comes to their Midwestern town. And Mr. Dark, who owns the circus, is one of the scariest villains in literature. And finally, some poetry. Circus Folk and Village Freaks by Aparna Sanyal is a collection of short stories told in verse. They're all about strange, imaginary villages filled with people who are considered freaks for defying societal norms, or for doing things like turning into reptiles, which to be fair is quite unusual. And the tales are about feminism, racism, homophobia and cruelty, but they're also really funny and exciting and bizarre, and the book is illustrated. So I would love to hear your favourite books set in the circus, as well as hearing how excited you are that there is a new Elizabeth McNeil book in the world, and if you'd like to hear more about Elizabeth McNeil and how incredible her writing is, I will link here to a video we made all about The Doll Factory, her first novel. So do click through and have a look, and I'll see you next time!